Your Fire Stick isn't broken, streaming isn't broken. We're going to talk about that here and uh, how to fix it. You may have noticed lately that uh, your streaming quality isn't as good as what it has been. Well, there's nothing wrong with your device. Uh, it's actually the other end. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Have you been affected, uh, depending on what service you'll be using today? Uh, we're also going to be doing a little bit of uh, some Fire Stick tips, um, that sort of idea. So we're going to be talking about that a little bit later. But first, I want to know is how is your streaming right now? Now, before you do that, my name is Stu and this is uh, Stu's Tech Time channel where we do tips for your tech, we do product reviews and we also do some streaming advice or apps. If that is a channel that you'd quite like, then consider subscribing. And how you do that, you just head over to my page here and you click on subscribe. Uh, click on that bell and make sure you click on all and that way you'll be notified of any future videos that I put out. Like uh, some of these ones here, like this one here, you really have to watch that. That's from yesterday. It's, uh, you may not know, but your microwave is going to be interrupting your Wi-Fi. And it's really quite cool. I go through the test and sh show exactly how, the, how your microwave uh, affects your internet speed. If I can spit that out. Right, so we're talking about streaming. How is your service lately? Uh, have you been getting the same quality as you normally would uh, achieve? Uh, do you think it's to do with your internet and your Wi-Fi? Well, it really isn't because a lot of services are downgrading their service. Uh, YouTube, Amazon Prime, Netflix have reportedly all reduced their streaming uh, default um, from whatever it was, 4K, 1080p to maybe 360p, 720p. Now, if you take uh, YouTube, for example, if I just go in here, if I just click on my latest video there, now, as you can see, that is not 1080p. It should be 1080p. How to fix that is really, really simple, actually. Just go into this little cog here, uh, click on the settings, and you'll see that it's auto is 42p now, and it usually is 1080p. So all you do is you click on that, and then you make it 1080p HD, and that's how you get round uh, the 1080p 480 thing. Uh, but it's not just uh, on YouTube. In fact, before I do that, um, you can do it on the... YouTube app as well on your phone. I'm just going to put that on screen, how to fix that there. It's really, really simple how to do that as well. Uh, if you're watching the TV, it's very similar uh, process. Hit the wee three little dots. Now that's YouTube taken care of. Now, what about Netflix? It's not as clear cut how to change that. Me personally, I haven't been affected at all. I'm still uh, broadcasting in HDR, Dolby Vision 4K, the works. But then again, I should be because I'm paying the premium service for that. Uh, if they're going to downgrade my service, then I, I would uh, expect uh, a reduction, to be honest with you, uh, in my monthly bill because that's why I pay the extra to get the 4K content. Now, is that the same for you? Uh, it should be because uh, you shouldn't be getting downgraded and you're still paying for the top package. Uh, put in the comments if you've been downgraded and you're still paying the full package package. Uh, but where I live in Scotland, uh, still getting 4K HDR Dolby Vision content. Uh, Amazon Prime, a little bit different. Amazon Prime, I'm still getting 4K content, but they're not pushing it. What they're doing is they're just listing uh, all the, the shows, but just putting in Prime, normally put a, a UHD next to it. Uh, well, they haven't been doing that. All they've been doing is just listing it um, as Prime. But if you want to get 4K content with they, with uh, Amazon Prime, you actually have to search for the show that you want, uh, like the Grand Tour, for example, and you'll then see the UHD option there where um, where you search for it. So that's one way around Amazon Prime. Uh, as I said, let me know what's happening with Netflix. Right, I did mention uh, that I was going to do tips for your Fire Stick. Now, this is uh, regarding this little post that I put on Twitter here. Um, and it's just that I paid 14, 14 pounds for Frozen 2. Thank you, one click purchase settings on my Fire Stick and making them so easy for a five year old uh, for them to use them. Now, that is totally true. As you can see, there's my daughter there. It is pretty much priceless, uh, the price that I paid. Uh, but uh, she did that herself. Totally, uh, it wasn't like, um, it was totally innocently. She just clicked on it and then clicked through the button. She was getting to know her way around it. So if you want to be able to stop that from happening, I'm going to stop. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also going to give you another couple of tips as well for your Fire Stick. Uh, but uh, don't be me and pay £14 uh, when you don't need to. Don't get wrong, I do owe Disney a few pounds over, over the years. Right, so here we are. As you've noticed, there is no 4K on any of those. Like Frozen 2, for example, is in 4K. I know, I paid for it. All right, so that's just shows you that there really are just kind of uh, 
pushing the 180p um, or less. Right, so how do we turn on parental controls? Well, we'll go along to settings and then we're going down and we go along to preferences here. And click on that. And then this is parental control straight away. So we just click on that. Um, mine are actually off at the moment, so I'm going to turn them on. So all you do is you click on it, and then it's a case of putting in a pin, any pin that you want, and it's just using uh, your little uh, remote here, up, down, left. As you can see, the buttons, if you want to use five to nine, you just press the three line button here, and you can get, so it's whatever pin you desire. So whatever pin you want to put in, then you just put it in again, saves the pin, um, and now it just gives you exactly what it is. Uh, pin protected purchases, purchases, pin protected purchases, pin protect app launches, enable viewing restrictions for content for teens and above, right? And then we've got some, some uh, options here. I'll keep that on, obviously. Uh, viewing restrictions, uh, at the moment, I have no problem um, with this at the moment. So I'm just gonna make sure they are on. There we go, and uh, you just click on them on again, and I just, there we go. So it's just, for some reason, I'm getting a little bit of a lag there, and now they are all on. Again, you can pin protect app launches as well, and you can also pin protect Amazon Photo App. That's a strange one, but there you go, it's there anyway. Uh, now, a couple of other things while we're actually in preferences, go into privacy settings here, uh, click on here and make sure that these are off. Mine is actually on. That shows you that I, I've I sh I've dropped the ball there. Um, it's used personal data collected by the operating system of the device for marketing. We don't want that. We don't need it. So it shouldn't be there. Uh, and so we want to turn that off. Uh, really don't need it on. Uh, make sure these both are off as well. Uh, just that's, again, privacy. To protect your privacy. They don't need to know what you're looking at. They make enough money as it is, they can advertise how they like. Data monitoring is another thing as well. You don't have to really need that. It's really for your own preferences. Another thing I want to show you is notification settings. Uh, go into app notifications. Just make sure all these are off because they run in the background and you don't need any of them at all. You don't need any notifications from them at all. Um, unless you, you think differently. Let me know in the comments section if you do. So there you go. You will now no longer have your five-year-old uh, purchasing content when you really don't need to, let's face it. Right, so there you go. Hopefully that's helpful for you. A couple of things I want to show you before I go. Um, we, I'm doing a giveaway, and it's for Samsung uh, covers, basically, for your phone. Absolutely free. UK only, unfortunately. Um, and it's for uh, Note 10. We've also got S20+. Plus. We've got S20, uh, we've got S20 Ultra. Now, how to take part? Very, very simple. All you need to do is click on one of these things here. Uh, follow me on Twitch, for example, is worth 10 entries, so that's probably the best way to do it. Um, and all you need is an email, and that's it, pretty much. Uh, and your name, and that's just so I can contact you. Um, I'm certainly not going to use it for marketing or anything like that. That's for sure. Now, how to find the links? Uh, wow. There's an old video. All right, let's go back into my channel here and click on this one here. Why not? This is, uh, you should all be watching this. This is a great video, I think. Anyway, eye-opening for me. Uh, I'm just going to click that there. And uh, you'll notice in the description, we have got all the links here. Now, I've got that for most of my all my new videos here. Um, so there we go. All you do is you click on one there and it takes you to the landing page where you can uh, take part. It's really, really that simple. They're all there. Uh, while we're there, um, I've also got this link here. Now, if you're looking for a, a cheap VPN, uh, don't just go to ivc.com. Uh, if you go to ivc.com, uh, you'll get this here, and it'll be $3.50, uh, But uh, which is pretty good, don't get me wrong. But if you go to my link here, uh, you click on that there, you'll notice that it is the good deal, $1.50. And then if you put in my code, which is Stu Tech Time, yeah, you'll get it for even cheaper. In fact, all you have to do is, you'll notice that's the code there, just not with inverted commas. So just copy that. And then it's just a case of pasting it in there, apply, 
$65, can't do any better than that. Uh, there's also a link uh, for IP Vanish as well. Again, click that link, just don't go to the page and you'll get the best deal as well. Um, so, okay, that's all I'm going to talk about. Uh, enjoy your weekend, stay indoors though, unless you go outside for some exercise, but keep your distance, take it seriously, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Watch that microwave video. You'll love it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye now. Oh, this is fucking my head. <laughs> it's annoying me. I don't know if I'm straight or not. Turn my head in. Now that arm is annoying me now. Am I in focus? Do I hit the mic? Am I in focus? I think so. Uh, is this looking good? I think so. What are we talking about? I don't know. <laughs>